One of the nicest parts of Pierpont is the bridge over the River Way and the adjacent floodplain meadow. The floodplain meadow itself is a triple SI, which means it's a site of special scientific interest. It's notable for all the wildflowers that grow there. And uh, a lot of restoration work has been done by the Trust and um, Mike Clear's grazing to reduce the vegetation in the meadow. It's, it's still very lush and the vegetation grows very tall, but it, we've reduced the amount of sedges and bushes that grow in there so that the wildflowers come through in abundance. The river itself is really uh, attractive. Uh, lots of lush water weeds growing in there and very clear swift flowing water well oxygenated by the plants and the um, interface between the riffles and the and the air so it's very good for supporting fly life and in amongst that is various dragonflies and damselflies such as the uh, banded demoiselle uh, which spend their larval stage in the water uh, and then feed uh, hatch out as adults and feed on smaller insects that they can catch in flight around the banks of the river and then of course they'll lay their eggs back in the stream and uh, the next generation will come along lots of other insects use use the river as well of course and um, that means it supports a good head of trout as well which is popular with the fly fishers wherever you've got a, an abundance of insects and, and you certainly have that alongside the river you also attract a good range of larger species that feed on those as well as the trout we have various birds in particular, grey wagtails are a notable feature along the brook here, along the river here. And at night, it's very popular for bats to come and feed down here. They feast on the emerging insects that come at night time. The rich vegetation in the meadow and, and the few uh, bushes and bramble patches have also been useful for certain birds. So you get things like reed buntings nesting here and, and nowhere else on, on Pierpont Farm. And uh, a couple of years ago, we had a pair of stone chats nest here, which is first time they've been recorded nesting on the farm so the, the wild pl plants that we have support a range of insects and, and those then support a range of birds and other wildlife that feeds on them notable in amongst the meadow flowers there are um, in parts there are marsh orchids um, but we can see here tufted vetch and tutsan and red campion uh, and a variety of um, insects using the, the wildflowers. There's also commoner species like the uh, creeping thistle and so on which add a lot of nectar that butterflies enjoy and we can see here sort of examples of uh, peacock butterfly uh, and also on the banks of the river there are things like uh, red admiral and small tortoiseshell uh, and these will all take nectar from the, the meadow and um, look for nettles to lay their eggs on. So, so the peacock, tortoiseshell and red admiral all have larvae uh, or caterpillars that feed on nettle leaves. So the, the rich vegetation near the river is very important for them. Um, and where the river floods, it adds nutrients to the ground, which is why grazing it is so important to maintain the habitat. Um, but it also means that you get a lot of lush vegetation uh, which supports a lot of insects and in turn a lot of bird life as well.